and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Lindy Burnham, and I am a marketing specialist with the Hudson Group of Boston, Massachusetts. Today, we are going to be showing you one of Hudson's latest mobile device offerings, the Virtual Mobile Data Terminal, or VMDT for short. We will be demonstrating the functionality of the VMDT and how it can improve overall efficiency in both driver and vehicle communications for your transportation business. Presenting today is Ken Welsh, also of the Hudson Group. In his position as a systems engineer and mobile device deployment specialist, Ken helps configure and integrate this mobile communications platform into existing Hudson client systems. I'd like to now hand over the presentation to Ken Welsh. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Lindy. Thank you. Uh, as Lindy mentioned, today we're going to go over the VMDT, um, give an overview of what it is and what it does and how we can integrate it into your system. Um, virtual mobile data terminal, again, VMDT for short, uh, is a way to communicate with your drivers uh, directly from your dispatcher, uh, such as sending reservations, uh, two-way communication through messaging, um, among many other things. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. The, uh, the first topic will be uh, reservations, um, paging jobs and reservations to drivers. And um, OK, so let's uh, jump right into it. The uh, VMDT application will run on both Android devices as well as iOS, which is Apple, uh, iPad, and iPhone. Um, the application can be launched from your device, your desktop. Each driver will have a, a unique ID, which will allow them to log in to only see their work uh, that has been given to them uh, that the dispatcher has allowed them to view. Uh, so the user ID and password would be unique for each uh, individual. So we'll go ahead and log in here as our demo driver. When we log in, we are seeing a welcome screen. This is entirely customizable. Um, typically just a message to the driver to remind them to be safe when using this device while operating a vehicle. We can continue from here. Once we continue, um, we'll see different tabs that we can configure which will display specific information. In this case here we have a reservations tab, a messages tab, and a bids tab. Each tab will display uh, different information for that driver only. Uh, reservations tab, uh, we can call my trips, will be the jobs that are assigned to that specific driver. The messages tab is any two-way communication that the dispatcher and driver are um, discussing. And the bids tab, which we'll go over toward the end, is a, is a tab that will allow the drivers to actually bid on open jobs for a specific time frame, um, any different conditions that, that you may want to include, uh, we can allow the driver to bid on work for that time period. From the dispatcher, we can send these jobs to the drivers simply with a right click option or a menu option on your grid. After we assign the job to the driver, we can then page it over to the driver. So in this case here, we can go ahead and assign our test driver to this job. Just like you would typically assign a driver uh, to a job, uh, same thing. Then we can go ahead and page the reservation to the driver. Uh, we have many different hotkeys that we can use. Um, page reservations will send that information to the driver's tablet. When I hit page reservations, the driver's tablet will play an alert sound and it will also notify the driver that they have updated information and if they touch the screen this message will clear. So when I touch the screen the message clears and we can see that we have that information from the reservation displayed on the My Trips uh, grid. This information is entirely customizable. Whatever information you would like to share with the driver uh, can be displayed here. 
uh, pickup time, service type, passenger name, flight details, etc. Um, and just to show you, we can add quite a bit of information. Uh, typically, we can put this in a details view, but just to give you an idea of any information that's available in your dispatcher, we can display on the VMDT. So when a driver receives the reservation, uh, they can simply touch it and a menu will appear which will give the driver different options. They can view the details of the reservation. They can confirm that they've received the reservation. Uh, after they confirm it, we can do different trip status changes uh, on location, on board, uh, complete. Um, we have access to charge the credit card of the customer uh, through a swipe. We can map the pickup or drop off location using the mapping application on your device. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and view the details of this reservation. So if I touch view details, we'll see a template here that will display information from that reservation. Again, this template is entirely customizable. Uh, we can break it down into different tabs. In this case, we have uh, basic details of the reservation. Uh, we have flight information. And if there were special instructions or directions within the reservations, they would appear here as well. Again, this is all information that is uh, within, the, within the reservation. So after viewing the, the details, I can go out and I can confirm this reservation. So when I confirm the reservation, I'm notifying dispatch that I've received the reservation, I confirm it, um, I will be um, picking up the passenger. So what happens when we confirm it is we will see that the reservation will change the status. Uh, so any color, any row coloring or cell coloring that you currently use in your system would work the same way. We see that the trip status was changed to confirmed. Um, and this had turned red, which, which means that it's confirmed. And we'll also receive a message from the driver saying that they confirm the reservation. This message will automatically come through. Um, the text in the message, again, is entirely customizable, but we see that the reservation uh, was confirmed. Uh, we received a message at 1118 confirming the reservation number and the pickup drop-off information, and it'll also show who the driver is that sent it. Once we confirm it, we can change the trip status even further. So depending on which trip statuses you are using uh, within your local system, um, on location, in route, we can do that right from the device. We can start the actual trip, we can in route the trip, and we can actually end the trip. Uh, right from the device. Uh, that's entirely up to how you would like this configured. Uh, we'll go ahead and mark this reservation on board. So again, it's going to execute the command. tells me that it's completed. And what will happen here is it will update to on board. And in this case here, we have on board and the color changes to an orange color. Again, we'll also see a message come through that the passenger is on board. There's no communication between the dispatch and the driver, uh, no radio, no phone. Everything's done directly from the device. It's updating your uh, trip statuses in real time on your dispatcher. The dispatcher can follow, uh, monitor the, all the jobs, make sure that they're on board at the appropriate time. Um, and ensure that the uh, passenger is, is uh, picked up promptly. From here, from the driver messages grid, um, we can also communicate back to the driver. So if the driver were to confirm it and the pickup time had passed, we can communicate with the driver um, by right clicking and sending a message. We can set up different templates 
that would allow you to click once and send a message, uh, or we can have a drop-down menu that will allow us to send a specific message. A uh, general message, we can type in a response, and the driver would receive that as a message. In this case here, we'll use the ETA template, which asks the driver, what is your ETA to? And then you can enter in um, the location or whatever you would like. So if I type the pickup and hit send message, I'll receive an alert on my device. And we'll notice that the messages tab turns red. When I touch the messages tab, uh, my new message will appear what is your ETA to the pickup? So the driver can then respond simply by touching the message. It'll launch a menu, which is entirely customizable <clears throat> and can be set up to respond uh, with specific responses to a um, request from dispatch. So in this case, we're asking how long, and we're going to show them uh, different times. Um, so if I say 10 minutes, I will receive a message back in dispatch that will say 10 minutes and it will also show what the initial uh, text was. What is your ETA to the pickup? 10 minutes. Uh, again, this avoids any phone calls, any radio communication, um, again, directly right, right through the device. Going back to the reservation, we can go back to our reservations tab. So after we've confirmed, on board, uh, completed, um, we may wish to charge uh, the credit card of the customer. Uh, we do offer mobile swiping, uh, swipers that can be plugged directly into the device, and we can capture the credit card information from the customer's card through a swipe or through manual entry with the option to add gratuity if they choose. We can charge the card and the reservation will be updated with that charge and the um, reservation will be marked paid. We can also view the pickup and drop off locations on a map. So whichever mapping application your device is using, uh, whichever is set as the default would display the location. So if I were to click map pickup, in this case, it's going to use um, Apple Maps, and it will drop a pin on that location from the reservation. It pulls the information from the reservation, displays it on the map. From this point, if the driver were to need directions, uh, you can use the mapping application to determine what the directions would be, uh, typically through uh, Apple Maps or Google uh, for the Android devices. We can also display the drop-off location uh, from the application as well. So if I wanted to see the drop-off location, I can click Map Drop-Off. It'll show me the drop-off the same way that it showed the, the pickup. From here, since we've already put the passenger on board, we can mark the reservation complete. Marking a reservation complete can be handled many different ways. Uh, we can simply send a message to dispatch, notifying dispatch that it's complete, and the dispatcher can complete the job and the trip. We can update the trip status to complete, which would not end the trip. And again, it would give the opportunity for the dispatcher to end the trip. Or we can have the driver end the trip, and whatever your system is configured to do with that driver or vehicle, uh, would automatically happen. Uh, if it were a drop-off at an airport and when the driver clears at the airport, they go into holding, it would automatically do that. So we can handle uh, many different many different scenarios uh, when it comes to these hotkeys here. So let's go back to uh, messaging, which would be two-way communication uh, between the driver and the dispatcher. So we've already seen the messages tab here. Uh, these are the messages that the driver has received um, for the day. We can also send a message to dispatch uh, without re replying 
to an existing message. Uh, we can give the drivers the option to touch the main menu and send a message. Um, so if I'm not responding to a message that dispatch had sent, I can simply click send a message and we can configure uh, whichever templates you'd like in here, uh, ready for work, dispatch call me, running late, uh, anything you want to put in here. So if I say I'm ready for work, touch that, it will send a message to the dispatcher saying that I'm ready for work. Now dispatch knows that Hudson test driver is ready for work. He can assign a job. We'll assign another job to the um, driver. Go ahead and page that out. I receive a notification, an audio alert, as well as a visual alert. And we'll notice here that the reservations tab has turned red, indicating that that's where the new information is located. So when I clear the message, I see my reservations tab is red. I can touch that, and it will pull in the additional reservation that uh, was sent to me from dispatch. So now I have my two reservations. I can go in and I can confirm that I've received the second reservation. Mark it confirmed. Marks the reservation confirmed and applies any uh, row status or cell status coloring. And I'll also receive a message uh, indicating that I've confirmed it. With the messaging, we can also send anything you would like. So if the driver needs a, for a dispatch to call them, if they're running late, um, if they're taking a break, in the, in the case of running late, we'll actually launch another menu here. So if we touch running late, we'll show another menu which indicates how late they are. So if I'm running 15 minutes late, I can notify dispatch through a message that I'm running 15 minutes late. Again, we get our message here from the driver. We know who the driver is. We can handle that situation um, as they come in. If, if I'd like, I can simply respond to a message from here with predetermined, um, predetermined messages in here from a hotkey. So we can resp respond yes, no, okay, thank you. Entirely customizable uh, with whatever you, you want to display. Uh, I can reply with 10-4. I don't need to launch any other menus. I can simply click this hotkey and I'll receive that message uh, on the device. Indicates that I have new information in the messages tab. Touch the messages tab. It will grab that message. I see that the dispatcher has responded 10-4. Two-way uh, messaging can be set up any way you'd like. Um, any messages that that you would you would like the dispatcher to send to the driver, uh, or vice versa, the driver to the dispatcher can be configured, and those can be managed uh, right from a driver messages grid. We can also page drivers from the driver messages grid. We can page from a driver grid. We can page from a vehicle grid, or we can even page from your trips grid. So communication is always at your fingertips, uh, typically through a right-click option, and you can send uh, the driver anything uh, you would like. So moving forward, we have other options that will allow a driver to actually bid on work. Uh, this, again, is entirely optional, but what you can do is you can allow the drivers to see jobs for a specific time frame, allow them to choose which jobs they will take, um, typically for the next day. What we do is we will lock the information, and then you can unlock the information at a uh, specific time that would allow the drivers to see those reservations. 
that can be maintained right through our uh, info lock technology. We can simply update this record and I can make my bids available at a specific time. I can make the bids available today at 9 a.m. So when I hit OK, those jobs that are set for tomorrow will display on the device automatically or we can notify the driver that new work is available for tomorrow and they can then bid on it. The different parameters and different rules that you may have can be configured within the system as well. Uh, you can limit the number of jobs they can bid on. Uh, we can limit the time between different jobs to ensure that there's no scheduling conflicts. So we see that we have a job here available uh, tomorrow at noon. So if I were the driver and I wanted to choose that job, I can simply touch it and a hotkey would appear, uh, bid on job. What that will do is it will actually check, make sure that I am able to bid on it. If I am able to bid on it, it will accept it and then it will assign me to that reservation. So if we go to our tomorrow um, tab here, we'll see that I bid on this job here and it already had assigned me as the driver. This, this can come in handy if you're communicating with your drivers at night. Uh, it'll save quite a bit of time, uh, eliminate phone calls, emails. Um, you can allow the drivers to assign themselves. You can monitor, make sure everything is covered and the uh, drivers uh, have the ability to plan their day out better um, if, that's, if that's how we want it to work. Um, so bidding again, um, it gives the, the driver the opportunity to assign themselves two jobs with uh, different rules and parameters set by you uh, to ensure that all your jobs are covered and there's no overlap um, between the reservations. Ken, I think that was great. Uh, thank you very, very much for that overview. I think most people attending today will agree with me that this is obviously some very exciting technology. Uh, I can see how this will streamline the efficiency of um, most every dispatching operation. It basically puts dispatchers and fleet controllers in the position of monitoring events that are currently underway and perhaps instead allow them to really look out into the future for things and issues that might present scheduling problems later in the day. So it's a really good management tool. Uh, I bet, too, that uh, drivers appreciate this because they won't have to worry about always getting verbal responses back from busy dispatchers. So it really puts a very powerful uh, communications tool in the hands of the driver, allowing them to do a lot of their, their own management. Um, tell me, how excited have some of our clients been after you've uh, deployed the VMDTs in their business? Has it basically been well received by both dispatchers and drivers? Absolutely. It's been well received um, by both dispatchers and drivers. Uh, like you said before, uh, the drivers like having the information uh, at their fingertips. Um, they can easily g gather information. They can call a customer if they need to. Um, it just eliminates so much that dispatch has to do um, that they can we can put into the hands of the drivers. Um, again, eliminating a lot of uh, tedious work that the dispatchers um, perform day to day. That's uh, that's awesome. Now I, I know uh, also there are some additional. You mentioned that obviously this is all very configurable to the client specific needs, um, and I've seen in in some other deployments things like um, when when you select a reservation, like for example, you can also display a paging sign, like a a name sign that has the company logo and the passenger's name on it, things like that. I also saw I think if you uh, were to touch that reservation again and look at the details, um, you had the ability, I think, on that on this particular to call customer. Is that something that's automated? Uh, is that, uh, or is it just presenting the the client's phone number to the to the driver so that they can call them on their cell? What what's what is that option about? Uh, we can integrate our SMS technology texting um, directly into the VMDT as well. If we were to mark this reservation on location, 
uh, we can automatically send an SMS text message to the customer indicating that the driver is on location, uh, which would eliminate a phone call or uh, any involvement from dispatch. That's uh, so awesome. Again, those are yes, those are uh, more advanced features that the VMDT does offer. Um, so this is really just a, a good introduction to sort of some of the capabilities of the VMDT and. Uh, obviously, as you as you mentioned at the beginning and many times during it, it's very configurable and could be set to uh, meet the needs of every individual deployment. That's that's fabulous, yep. and this is really exciting technology. Any any final yeah. comments or or uh, or words that you'd want to share with our guests today? Uh, just to reiterate, it is very configurable. Um, it is one application. However, we can set it up to um, mimic what you're doing in dispatch and um, many different ways of, of achieving uh, the goal, uh, the end goal of, of saving time and uh, allowing your drivers to um, manage their day uh, much better. That's great. That's awesome. Uh, Ken, thank you so very much for showing this and, and I thank everybody else today for joining us for this VMDT overview. Uh, for more information on how you can integrate the VMDT into your business, uh, we're going to be con uh, adding some contact information on the following screens, and I'll encourage you to contact the Hudson Group uh, Business Development Office for assistance in, in discussing how we can uh, integrate the VMDT into your system. So thank everybody. Uh, I thank everybody and Ken also here for joining us today and uh, for the, providing this exciting overview to the VMDT system.